Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about availability inside of Zabbix and basically if you recently saw those log lines like uh, the first network error, second network error, some sort of the host become unavailable, unreachable and you turn in the let's say monitoring hosts or configuration hosts and you see that availability column is displayed red and uh, no data is coming in if you experience this and you want to know like what could cause this and what could be potential ways how to fix this then just let's continue with uh, this topic so first of all the availability what it is and uh, how it is treated inside as abex just like it is displayed in the front end uh, maybe the monitoring hosts or the configuration hosts there actually are only four sources of availability let's think about item types in zabbix there are like plenty of those there are zabbix agent passive active snmp three versions snmp traps ssh uh telnet uh external scripts and uh more and more and more but for the availability there are only for availability types the cbx is for the zabbix agent and keep in mind passive only so this column about uh may be red or green will not affect the zabbix agent active item types snmp will work for all three snmp versions but not the snmp traps so only snmp v1 v2 and v3 jmx works for the java monitoring only and ipmi works for ipmi only and uh, there are three colors that you can see on this screen first of all it's gray then of course the red and the green one so what each of those means gray means that Zabbix server does not know availability of this interface on the host that you're monitoring. What could be the potential reasons why the Zabbix server does not know the availability? Because there are known items that are monitored on this host for this particular interface. As example, in this case, uh, we don't know the availability of the Zabbix agent because we don't have any item on this host that would be uh, for the Zabbix agent passive. And even if we will add like 10, 15, 20 items that will be Zabbix agent active, even if they will uh, continue to collect the data from the host, the availability will still remain great. Green means that everything is working, there's uh, no trouble at all, everything is fine, and the red means that the Zabbix server is not able to connect to the host that we're trying to monitor. And think about this, like, why we're always talking about a perspective from from the Zabbix server. Zabbix server cannot connect to the host and this will apply to all of these four cases with four availability types. Zabbix agent passive which means passive the Zabbix server is connecting to the agent. SNMP doesn't matter which sort of the version it is the Zabbix server or the proxy again will be connecting to our network device and collecting the data jmx also the polling is performed as a passive check so the server is connecting to the host and same applies for the for the ipmi which means that uh, the Zabbix server will always be deciding and uh, the first hint like I don't know sometimes people don't uh, even understand that so you can just hover the red uh, availability in the front end and you will see the error messages why the Zabbix server is failing to connect to this host so in my case I have an error message get value from agent failed cannot connect to IP address in a default Zabbix agent port with an error message connection refused so technically there are only like couple of uh, let's say hard-coded error messages inside the sources of the Zabbix and more or less you can distinguish what sort of the problem is by looking on those error messages and this one well i know what's the problem but uh, this error message appears when zabbix server is able to successfully connect to the agent as a service on a remote machine but in the agent configuration file here in uh, etsy zabbix zabbix uh, agent.d.conf the server parameter which lists the IP addresses from which the agent will accept connection uh, so if we see that 
connection refused, it means that we don't have our Zabbix server IP address here. So the only thing that is required for us is to edit the server parameter, add our Zabbix server or the proxy address, and restart the agent. Also, another thing that we will notice if this is the case, in the agent logs, we would also have an entries that uh, someone from IP address A is trying to connect, but only IP address B is allowed on this agent host. Um, then like, if we talk about the logs in the Zabbix server and the error messages like first network error, second network error, the host became unavailable, unreachable. So what actually defines these uh, those thresholds and what sets these error messages? Actually, all of those are configurable and controlled in the Zabbix server config file. So if we would look in the Zabbix, Zabbix uh, server.conf, there are three parameters that are related to this and they are called, uh, let me find them, unreachable period, un unavailable delay, and unreachable delay. So these three parameters are responsible for the flow of the monitoring of the host, which is not available and a Zabbix server cannot monitor those. So let's say we have a green uh, Zabbix agent availability and uh, we are collecting the data, everything is fine. And then something happens and uh, this might be like a sad news, but if you see those um, first network errors, second network errors, then really most likely something is wrong with a network. Either it is a firewall where the connection is not stable or maybe the agent is not running, agent is crashing, where you might have some sort of the items that are taking more time to execute and you have a timeout parameter in the agent or a server config file, but it's most likely not a Zabbix fault. It's most likely the fault in the network or the fault in the configuration. So what happens, let's say we have this availability green and then we something happens with the network. So in the log file, we will get, I will even show it. So I'm running my system in a Docker as usually, so the server and Docker logs uh, this and grep. I will check for the host name, Zabbix server test. So you see, I've just created this host. Um, let's do it like this. I just created this host before this video, this one, and I just cloned the original Zabbix server host. And as you can see, the availability is also red, but actually what happened, so first of all, I added the host, it was gray. Then the Zabbix server tried to collect this information and what we got, so Zabbix agent item, so it's one of the first item that Zabbix server is trying to monitor on a host Zabbix server test failed because first network error, wait 15 seconds. Then there's another item which uh, uh, appears, so the Zabbix internal not supported, we can ignore this, this is not supported, not because anything uh, to do with availability. So this one, which happened after 15 seconds. Zabbix agent item system dot local time on again the Zabbix server test host failed because of another network error. Wait for 15 seconds. And another one, so another network error, again 50 seconds, and temporarily disabling Zabbix agent checks on the host Zabbix server test host is unavailable. At this moment, when this line appeared, the availability of my host became red. And uh, the only thing that we can actually control within the Zabbix server config file is uh, delays and duration. So first of all, you saw those first network error 15 seconds. We try to collect the data for, through this item, we failed, we will wait 15 seconds and then try again. What defines this 50 second delay is unreachable delay parameter. Unreachable delay, 15 seconds. So it failed one time, it will try again. And after 15 seconds, there was another network error. Again, waiting for the 15 seconds. Then there was a third message and three times 15, 45, and we hit unreachable period, after which the host becomes unavailable. And 
if it becomes unavailable, then availability becomes red. Um, after the host is considered unavailable, after the host is uh, host availability in the front end is red, this middle parameter kicks in, which is an available delay. So since that moment, this host will be rechecked not based on the update interval that you have on your items, but based on an available delay, which by default is 60 seconds. So these two hosts, despite the fact that I have like close to 100 items on each of them with an update interval, so let's say a couple of the seconds, these two hosts will be rechecked only once per minute because I have an available delay set to one minute. And uh, please, don't change these parameters because actually these defaults are very good uh, for basically any um, any monitoring server that you might have, maybe small, big, uh, local or remote, whatever. These parameters are fine. If your availability uh, icons inside of front end are flashing red, green, red, green, and so on, there is some problem with configuration, network, or something else within your environment, it is not a problem with the internal uh, parameters of the Zabbix. And another thing, so the only difference what happens when the host becomes unavailable, uh, you know that there are, uh, let me actually do it like this, there are internal processes in the Zabbix server, and here we can see them all listed. So configuration, sinker, gel, polar, polar, and whatsoever. Um, if all of this video we talked about is Zabbix agent. So let's take again an example with a Zabbix agent. If we are monitoring this host through an agent, passive one, which means that we, we are looking on the availability uh, ZBX. If it is green and a host is being monitored by the server, so there are no problems, the icon is green, we're collecting the data then this process is done by the Polar. So Polar is responsible to collect the data from the passive agents. Same actually applies to um, SNMP. So if we talk about SNMP v1, v2, v3, it is also done by the Polar internal processes. Uh, same applies to IPMI, but for JMX, there are Java Polars. Uh, and all of them, um, amount of them can be changed and increased, decreased in the Zabbix server config file. But what happens when the availability becomes red, then these items, these hosts, are actually rechecked not by their original internal processes polars, but by, let me find it, by unreachable polar, this one. And then also the problem might happen, like let's say you've just set up your environment and uh, you did some sort of the basic tuning based on the internal performance graph. So you have not five polars as, uh, as a default, but let's say 200 or 50 or 100, whatever. Uh, but uh, initially everything was green. All the availability was green. All the data was coming in. There were no problems. There were no not available hosts. And uh, you did not touch unreachable polars at all. So when something will go wrong and uh, availability will start to become red, uh, you will start to notice that even after, let's say, there was a huge problem, then uh, some outage in the network and then it was fixed, but the hosts still remain red. You see they're not rechecked, they're not becoming green, you're not starting to collect this data, and the problem might be not because of the polars, not because of the Zabbix servers not able to connect uh, to these hosts, but the problem is that, let's say, you have 5,000 hosts with the red availability, which should be rechecked every 16 seconds, remember, one minute, based on the server config file, and they should be rechecked with unreachable polar, not the original polar, which we initially tuned to those 300 value. And uh, we did not adjust the setting of the unreachable polar, which we have only one, and if on this one single polar, we put on around like, hundreds, thousands of the hosts that have to be rechecked and they have to go through this at least one successful uh, check to actually change availability back to the green and again start working with the polars, 
that one single unreachable power might be simply overloaded. So you should also always take a look on the server config, of course, uh, at czabixserver.conf, unreachable, unreachable polars. I don't remember where they are. Start proxy polars, start polars, IPMI. All right, so IPMI polars are, IPMI checks are not executed by the regular polars. Those are done by the IPMI polars. And there are the polars unreachable where the default value is one. But again, don't overthink with these values. Don't set something that you think is a good value for your um, infrastructure. Better rely on the internal monitoring graphs to see how currently busy those are, how currently busy the trappers, the polars, and reachable polars are. And based on that data within the Zabbix front end, you need to adjust these values. So long story short, if you have a full log of uh, frequently flapping uh, unreachable network errors, hosts becoming green and red, then uh, it's not really a Zabbix fault. It's some sort of the network issue. Um, some firewalls, um, not stable agent crashing, as example, and also some sort of the misconfiguration with the timeouts and the time needed for these items to grab the value from the, from the agent. Because a small example, like if we have one single item that executes 10 seconds to get the value, let's say there's running some sort of the script on the agent host, but in the agent config file, we have a default timeout of three seconds. Then also, despite the fact that the item can be executed locally, the script can be forked, um, items will fail and availability of this host will become red because it is required to run a script for 10 minutes, but we have a timeout for, uh, sorry, not minutes, seconds, uh, but we have a timeout for the three seconds and that's why the item will always fail. So thank you guys. I hope you will find something useful for you, this, for you in this video. So just like usually, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos. Thank you and goodbye.